Hello, hello, legends of the channel, people who love young children so guys thank you thank you thank you for tuning in guys happy friday happy friday though guys we're about to get down to business yo i'm so happy guys the last video we watched was crazy we're about to embark to another craziness of the world of young children missy mary george mima young george yeah and Tan. that guy's that guy's funny guys anyway guys thank you for tuning in if you're new to the channel do show some support by subscribing <laughs> I can't let you <laughs> to the channel. In the meantime, let's go. Play On any given there, yeah. day, our school gymnasium, a tale of horrors. Really? Ah! From daily humiliation. <laughs> to <laughs> okay, I got it. Two school sanctioned violence. Yes. I saw that coming. Gymnasium was transformed Gymnasium. into a haven of learning institution known as the Science Fair. A chance for the student body to come together <laughs> in progress. Wait, while it, some it, it, did the bare it. minimum and others preferred razzmatazz over raw data, I set out that to that save cool, humanity cool. from deadly asteroids and made it all neatly fit on three poster boards. The science <laughs> fair may be a competition, <laughs> but when the goal is promoting knowledge... And the winner of the Medford High School Science... Definitely show then. Sue Ann Ludlow! They're here. Are you kidding me? Chilling. No loud. They're here, People lady. are crazy! You're celebrating mediocrity! 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 All right, obviously we know what time it is. <laughs> I'll be in my room. Oh, come on, Shelly. You still busy. got an honorable mention. Stop reminding me. I hate to see him so upset. Mary, Give Mary, he's a boy. You'll this calm down. The F word. The F He's word. real mad. <laughs> I know, but these are big feelings for a little boy. They're feelings everybody has. It's part yeah. of growing up. 100%. Poodle poo. Okay. Somebody's got to teach this kid to swear. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Children, listen. I know losing ain't easy. No. I deal with it on the football field all the time. It's like that big gate we had last year against Nacogdoches. We were down 28 points at the half. It was raining. Somehow, we managed to claw our way back to a tie with a minute left. And they threw a Hail Mary, and the receiver stepped out of bounds, but the ref didn't see it. After all that... Is he listening? ...on a bad call. Believe me, I was furious. I didn't hear a word you said. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> After all this? Oh, right, damn. Well, has a membrane and a cell wall. Who cares? Being disrespectful, sir. How come? Because I'm disillusioned with the school system. Georgie, you know what's going on with him? Actually, I'm trying to ignore it. <laughs> what if I don't? I was sent to see Principal Peterson. What is it this time? My voice hasn't changed yet, but my attitude has. I let him know you're here. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> yeah, do you hear that, ma'am? Ma'am. Sheldon Cooper's outside. Who mm -hmm. sent him now? Givens. Who well, you know what? Them? Givens needs to man up. Cooper's a little boy. It's not hard to handle him. <laughs> oh, hold on. Does he know what I mean? Uh, yep. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we talk that hard work pays off, <laughs> but that's not true. And lost the science fair to Sue Ann Ludlow and her no. crazy hair Where's your dad? We all Where's lost. You? We all lost. Wake up, people. The system's broken. Real innovation isn't valued. Nowadays, it's all about flash. And I blame MTV. Look, Me too. Kids can't afford cable. We can afford it. <laughs> to rise up. Send everyone to the principal's office. Chew gum in class. <laughs> this is Sheldon Lee Cooper signing off. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Ah, I'm gonna do it, God damn it. I can't believe you sent him to bed without his dinner. That's right. On spaghetti and hot dog night. That's rough. Let's That's talk rough. about something else. Georgie, how was your day? My brother told the entire school we can't afford cable. <laughs> Get until I learn we can't afford cable. Oh, guys. I've been thinking, and there's something I'd like to say. Yeah. Plus, it's an apology. I don't want to hear it. I'm quitting science. Ooh. Not an apology. Spank I mean, him, Dad. Spank him. Spank his ass. That's not good, though. 
really getting worried about Shelly. Oh, I'm sure you get right back to it. I've quit smoking and gambling plenty of times. There you go back Look to it. Look at my purse. <laughs> Scratchers. <laughs> She's so dumb. Maybe I meant a professional, George. But way to be a dad. <laughs> Me and my always try it, though, guys. And why they always send him to professional when, when, hey. it, when it, ah, uh, not <laughs> this one back. again. Oh, oh, not a problem. Sheldon, I remember you. Do you remember? He remembers you too, bro. Remember everything. Uh, you two make yourselves comfortable. Me and my main man Sheldon are gonna go have a little chit. Stop doing that as a kid, bro. I don't like chit chat, and I'm not your main man. That's right. Thank you, Shelly. Why don't? Why don't? <laughs> why don't? Why don't? Now, Sheldon, <laughs> I understand not, you've bro. changed your mind about being a scientist. And you're gonna say I can't? No. I think that's great. You do? Oh, he's playing yeah. mind game, huh? I think it's important to keep your options open. Let me tell you a little story about an extremely smart young boy. No, mm -hmm. right? No, Maybe. himself. <laughs> he's well, vain, bro. A professional figure skater. And then you became disenchanted with the field like I did? Someone skated right over my foot, and that was that. I know that's a good thing. I'm not though. sure that's the same thing. The way I lost my big toe. Okay. Go us there. Draw in that. Hey. We're all done. Great. I feel a lot better. Well, that's just wonderful. I don't know, man. To science? No. Nope. No. In fact, I'm going as far away from science as possible. What kind of arts? Yeah. I've decided to become an actor. <laughs> of course you have. Hi, <laughs> Bebo. What are you happy for? Why does he want to study act? The doctor encouraged him to try something different. Maybe he'll learn to act normal. <laughs> I thought you learned to act nice. <laughs> People don't appreciate my sense of humor. <laughs> Uh, Even himself in school, I don't care what he does. You know, I actually did a little community theater back in my 20s. Wow. I had a good part in Oklahoma. I'm just a girl who can't say no. Say no to what? Oh. Uh, eating her vegetables. <laughs> it was fun. But I'm pretty sure doing <laughs> plays. your vegetable in front of each other backstage. Really? Yeah. How many people saw you naked? A lot. Mom? Enough. Wow. Y'all don't understand my sense of humor either. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, old b <sighs> My father is Mr. Lundy. Well, then what should I call you? Yeah. I guess Mr. Lundy. My Duh. father's dead. <laughs> I was told you're the head of the drama department. Mm -hmm. Between us is the real drama department. Was that a joke? Yeah, dumb one. Thought so. Can I help you? Yeah. I'm Let's interested right in becoming an actor. Well, good for you. You've come to the right place. You know, uh, I've been a professional actor for years and years. Well, have you seen the Mattress Madness commercials on Channel 68? I'm soft and fur. Wow, you're famous. Well, really? From I down? was Carbuckety in the player's production of Cats. <laughs> Did you see that? Well, you realize the cats are just the actors. I still wouldn't risk it. You're an odd boy, but you make it work. <laughs> no, no. Uh, auditions are next week. You're welcome to come on by. Excellent. I checked out a book on acting, so I should have the hang of it by then. Well, I like that confidence. <laughs> Thank you. I... Most people find it off-putting. I can see that. <laughs> to master acting, oh, no. I immersed myself in all forms of the genre. I think you prefer to sell the film. Why aren't they all singing? Because it's a musical. A musical, isn't it? But why can't they just say it? And where is the music coming from? You're thinking about it too much. And how do they all know the same dance? Come well, on. Uh, come on now. You and you and you and you. What are you looking for? A brooch. What's a brooch? In my acting book, there's an exercise where you look for a missing brooch in a convincing way. Well, good luck finding it. Thanks. You really believed I was looking for something. That's good. I did it. I'm an actor. You're a freak. Oh, where the heck is that brooch? <laughs> can change. And you can change. Everybody can change. Thank you, Ava. That was a, a lovely reading from Rocky IV. Rocky IV? I'd like to begin with a monologue from King Lear. I believe you're supposed to say break a leg. Sorry? Break a leg. Poor naked wretches, wheresoe'er you are, by the pelting of this pitiless okay. storm. How shall your houseless heads and unfed sides, your looped and windowed raggedness, defend you from seasons such mm. as these? Expose thyself to feel what wretches feel, that thou may shake the super. He did it! 
it, bro. I, I, hey, I'm no drama teacher, but I just he did it. Holy mackerel! <laughs> John Holy mackerel! Holy Tina, the truth is, I never loved you. He went to cry. It's Philly Day. It's not a Philly Day, you know. Old man trouble. I don't. You <laughs> won't find him hanging around my door. I've got starlight. I've got sweet dreams. <laughs> Who could ask for anything more? He's about to just. Woo! Splendid. That was dangerous. No, that looks dangerous. Hey. How'd the audition go? Great, I got the lead. What's the play? Annie. Oh, no. <laughs> I need to go learn my lines. Uh, Annie, what to do? Annie. Now, I was a little unsure at first. Sandy Duncan does play Peter Pan, so when you- Johnny, you're not helping. Okay. <laughs> Annie, what the, I mean, what to do? Hello. I feel like this is my face, bro. You know, if you play the part of a girl, people might make fun of it. Boundaries of drama in East Texas. One way to do that is cross-gender casting. Let me rephrase that. If you play the part of a girl, people will make fun of you. Yeah. Shakespeare's time, the men played all the female parts. No one made fun of it. If Shakespeare went to public high school, it would be a different story. <sighs> I'm trying to protect you, son. Really? I appreciate that. Good. You're a football coach. Yeah. Isn't it your responsibility to put in the best player for the job? I guess. Well, I want to do this. Yeah. And... Mr. Lindy said I was the best. Okay. Can you at least wear pants instead of a dress? I'll give you a definite maybe. Okay, who's excited? I don't want to see Sean's stupid play. It's humiliating. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> Brother, not another <laughs> word about it. <laughs> Missy, my jeez. Will you at least sit in the back? Not a word. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> Hey everybody, 10 minutes to curtain. No smiling girls, it's a hard knock life. How you in touch with your inner Annie? I believe so. Good, it's a packed house. <laughs> oh, what the heck, oh. sweetheart, not a coal miner. Let's tone that down. I can't do this. What are you talking <laughs> about? The play, I can't do it. There are too many people out there. No, yeah. this is a full-blown panic attack. All right, all right, listen to me. What you have to understand is you're not going out on that stage alone. Everybody, gather around. Have you ever been to the circus? Yes. Okay, good. I had a panic attack there, too. <laughs> My point. <laughs> the trapeze artist always performs with a net to protect him, and you are protected by everyone standing here, you out on that stage, because we're a team. We. I see what he's trying to do. I don't know. Our star and that audience deserves to see you shine. Let's go to science on this, huh? Mr. Lundy gave a compelling speech. The mm. audience did deserve to see what they came for, bravely taking on the role of little orphan Annie. And in that respect, they were not disappointed. Pop down, all of you. It's all right, Molly. Annie's here. I'd tell you how an East Texas audience in 1989 received a grown man playing Annie. Yeah. But I think you know. What's my line? <laughs> tomorrow, bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Hey I think I see his underpants. I told you, theater folk just love to show off their business. <laughs> Me, they won't clap for you. They won't clap for you, mate. He actually waited for me to clap for him, you know. In any ecosystem, you'll find a delicate balance between predator. Some well-known predators include Ursus Arctos and star of the 1987 film Predator. Examples of prey include Erectilogus caniculus, weighing in at 58 pounds soaking wet, diminutive ho- Look at his face! Look at his face! Cooper! You are stopped. Would you mind dropping me off closer to my house? 
You know I'm not allowed to do that. What if I did your taxes? Sorry, kiddo. Why is it? I could have gotten you a nice refund. The perilous journey from the bus stop to my front door was 97.5 meters. <laughs> you calculate that as well. I, insisting on using the metric system in East Texas, is another reason I was hunted by predators. What are you doing, bro? Homo Novus needs a yoo-hoo. I've decided to learn self-defense. Why? I'm quite small and will be for several years. That's right. That's big. Maybe you'll take after him. Both like my mom. I <laughs> you know, one of the books mentioned a Vietnamese martial art. Vo Vietnam. I'm at Blue Belt. Don't be impressed. It's what you get when your mom buys a uniform. <laughs> I don't even know what the belt is. Oh, guys. The I'm book says jujitsu is based on using your attackers. It's just physics. Come at me. Like run at you? And what happens when I get to you? Oh, I'll gosh. use your inertia to take you down. Hit it! And when does inertia take me down? Any second. He's trying. He's trying, man. He's failing at this. I don't care. I don't understand. What happens next? That depends. Is this your foot or mine? Cooper! You are stopped. That must, that must be traumatizing. It must be traumatizing, though. Know? The hard work. I pulled a new high score last night. Nice. I got two turkeys. What's a turkey? It's three strikes in a row. When they first invented bowling, <laughs> doesn't know. they used to just throw frozen turkeys at the pins. Eventually, they switched to balls. She doesn't know, man. Why are you lying to her? I find it keeps my mind sharp. <laughs> Eldon, breakfast! Oh. Ah. How you gonna run, bro? Hello. Yes. I must be a little sore from doing jujitsu with Tam yesterday. We're boys. Roughhousing is what we do. <laughs> what was what? That sound. What's all this? An extra layer of protection. Sweetie. Is someone bothering you? Yes. Who mm -hmm. is it? I'd rather not talk about it. No, I want a name right now. Mary? Have you been hurting him? Only with my words. <laughs> Mary, slow down. Don't tell me to slow down. Someone is bullying him. Oh, okay. Mary. Okay, Sheldon, you can't go to school wearing all that. Go to your room and take it off. You go with her. But my cereal is gonna get soggy. Go! <sighs> what a nice morning. One nice morning, huh? Why aren't you more upset about this? I am. I just think we should proceed with caution. I understand, but handling bullies is tricky. It, it's easy to make things worse. And what makes you the expert? Honey, I was a bully. He's right. Yeah, he's right. They'll take it out on Sheldon. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't just stand by. She doesn't listen when it comes to Sheldon, does she? Georgie, I need to talk to you. And wake up, you're gonna be late. <sighs> Got it covered. I slipped my clothes. <laughs> He's so dumb. Picking on your brother, you know anything about it? No. Nope. You better not be covering for anybody. Well, I need you to look after him. Why? Because I'm your mother and I'm asking you nicely. Uh -oh. I don't care you're doing it. How was that nice? Whoa. So there I was, flying above the city. That's like the dream you had where you were dating Madonna. When you woke up, you weren't. Exactly. You ever had the ones where your teeth are falling out? Over here. What are you doing? Hiding. From who? From Is Billy him. the one giving you trouble? No. His dad? No. Who then? No. 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 <laughs> no. Silly. A little sparse girl? Your kid. She seems so sweet. No. Slaps him around. Takes his lunch money. She even put a tadpole down his shirt. He tucks in those shirts. <laughs> Mima, that's that's your girl for four five days. She looks harmless. She's cute, so she probably gets away with stuff. Yep. I'm like that. I wonder if stray cats poop in that sandbox. George. You need to talk to her parents. I me. Because you're more intimidating than me. That's rich. <laughs> That's rich? Hey, Billy. Hello, Missy's dad. Could you get him for me? 
Oh Happy to. Dad, it's Missy's dad. He's also showing his dad. Okay, thank you. What brings you by? Chicken's too loud? Uh, no, they've been fine. Good, good. Oh. <laughs> so dumb. It's come to my attention <laughs> that uh, Sheldon's run into a bit of trouble with your daughter. Well, what kind of trouble? My Bobby. This one. The six-year-old. Yeah. Bobby, get over here. You realize I'm taking dumps bigger than this kid. Hey, oh, baby no. doll. Uh, Mr. Cooper says that you've been picking on Sheldon. Now, is that true? No, Daddy. Are you sure? Okay, go wash up for dinner. I want to tell you, George. Did I see mean, that? Is it possible your son has a little crush on her? Oh, I don't think he's wired that way. <laughs> Saying he's a bookworm. Yeah, unless she's math or a dictionary, he ain't interested. Mm. Yeah, your wife sent you over here, didn't she? Yep, I she did. Talk about it. <laughs> I bet she did. <laughs> Oh, God, yeah. Uh, good. Good. I handled it. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> no offense, George. No offense, the Lord. <laughs> oh. Hello, Bobby. You told on me. Actually, my brother figured it out, so technically I would argue that I didn't. I read a book on jujitsu, and I'm prepared to throw it at you. Shelly, it's just back teen. What? I didn't even put it on you yet. You want to tell me what happened? Bobby Sparks came into the garage. And she attacked you? I tried to use jujitsu on her, but I tripped and fell. German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche said, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. Okay. Do you feel stronger? No. No. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. And regarding this jujitsu stuff, you should know that a man's not supposed to raise his hand to a woman. I don't want to hurt myself again. Oh, okay. Did you ever have a bully when you were growing up? Have you met your grandma? Oh. <laughs> you handled it next door. I did say that. Where are you going? To handle it. It would have been you in the first place. What? Oh. Good luck. Missy, I could really use your help. I'm being bullied by Bobby Sparks. That's it. Hilarious. Go on. Mom says a man should never raise his hand to a woman, but I believe I found a loophole. You're a woman, so you're allowed to hit her as much as you want because I'm willing to pay you. How much? My life savings, $4. That's a good start. <laughs> now let's talk TV privileges. <laughs> Complete control every afternoon for two months. For two That's months. when Professor Proton is on. I know. Sucks for you. Wow. I don't care! I love this. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. Oh, hey, Mary. Actually, I'm here to talk to you. Seems that our kids are having a little problem. Well, yeah, Herschel told me. Well, if you haven't noticed, I'm at work right now. I see that. But you understand that your daughter's being abusive to my son. Maybe your son needs to grow a pair. Connie Tucker to the front desk, please. You say my daughter's harassing your son. Well, her daughter's harassing me. Hey, Mary. What are you doing here? Well, could you excuse us for just a minute? Do you understand that you are in the place where I socialize three to four days a week? Bowling than your grandson? Well, of course not. I'm just saying maybe there's a better way to go about it. I'm warning you, Brenda is one mean, I know you don't like bad language, but we are in a bowling alley, one mean bitch. Can be mean too. Okay, you listen to me. You get your kid in line or I... <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of here. This is my place of business. And now I see where your daughter gets it. You know what? I have been nothing but nice to you and your... And I'm over it. Watching you walk around all holier than thou. Well, guess what? You're not. I'm gonna pray for you. That's it? She says that to me all the time. I'm not even sure she does it. Is that pine? We're not talking about it. Herschel? Hey, George, it has come to my attention <laughs> that, and uh. She sent you over here? Uh, the, the important <laughs> thing is that I'm here to tell you that. We get bullied all the time by our missus. You know, it's interesting. I came to your house, you were laughing, and now you're all serious. Why is that? What do you say we go talk about this somewhere a little more comfortable? With his beers and drinks. <laughs> With his drinks and stuff, huh? Chicken? Make yourself at home. You hang out in here? Sure. Once you get used to the smell, it's not so bad. That's true. I coach high school football team. This smells like petunias. <laughs> I like to take a break from the family. And no one knows it. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> 
She, she don't know. Me. She's scared to death of chickens. Is that right? Found out building this coop was a no brainer. <laughs> Smart man. Smart man indeed. You were gone so long. How did it go? Well, one lump or two? Two, please. Billy? What? Why would what? I want lumpy tea? Isn't he pretty? Very pretty. I feel pretty. I handled it. How? Thank you so much. We're family. That was so easy. Missy, nice. Oh, this two days. So I'm sorry my wife went down the bowling alley. I'm sorry Brenda made me come to your door. I'm not. What I've had all week. I, I feel bad about the whole thing with the kids. Hey, I know, but Bobby shouldn't be beating on Sheldon like that. It's not okay. Sheldon getting beat up by a little girl. That's right. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, I'll talk to Bobby. I don't know if it'll help, but I'll try. You're a good man. Mm. Here, I should be heading back. Mm. All right, well, look, come on by anytime. Yeah. Uh-oh. You know, we should probably get our story straight before we talk to our respective. Yep. Smart mate. We had words. It almost got ugly, but we came to an understanding. I like it. Yeah. Freakishly high tolerance for pain. No, no, but you're sweet for offering. <laughs> Herschel, where the hell are you? Shh, built a hidey hole under here, but there's yeah. only room for one of us. Where is that fat dumbass? Believe it or not, that means I'm getting lucky tonight. How? Oh. Y'all have an odd relationship. Love is a mysterious thing. That's true. Herschel! They're both getting scared. <laughs> But we pray have developed several natural defenses to help us survive. Warning calls, camouflage, and last but certainly not least, good old fashioned running away. Run. Got a little screaming never hurts either. Nope. You know what? This, this is perfect story. How people think men, oh boy, we cannot be bullied by a female or a girl. Well, women, these things happen every day. And most men or most boys don't speak about this because how society may see it. You know what I mean? Hey, look at George and the other guy. They're big, right? But they're doing the bit they're doing the bidding of the wives. Hey. It is what it is. Yeah, guys, thank you, thank you for tuning in. I hope you like this. I'm really happy. I'm so happy I'm back with Young Sheldon. I'm happy with it. Guys, thank you for tuning in. And also, do check out my videos, man. Stop being stingy, man. I have more videos, guys. In the meantime, do take care. Peace.